Shares of Raymond James jumping 4% today after posting fourth quarter results. Despite falling short on the street's estimates for earnings, the company reported a record revenue of more than $3 billion, driven by higher interest rates and an uptick in loan demand. For more, let's bring in Raymond James CEO Paul Riley. Paul, thanks for joining us this quarter. Uh, great to be here again, Kelly. What do you think were the highlights at a time when your stock at least is above uh, the, the sort of crisis lows from earlier this year, but a lot of the banks are trading dangerously near those levels? I think it's a few things. First, driven really by our wealth management business and the diversified businesses we have. This is the third consecutive year of record revenue and profits in our year just ended. And I'm not sure who's done that else in the industry, and that's under zero interest rate environments and moving interest rate environments and high in the last you know 20 year rate environment. So it's really a testament to the model, the long term view the firm has, the always keeping flexible. Um, we have double the amount of capital to be uh, well capitalized, a lot of liquidity. So we even look at these times that look ahead to be a little more challenging as also opportunities given the chance that we're still in great financial shape as we look forward. But it really, the, the models really produce those results even you know, in three different mar market environments in a row. Before I ask about those opportunities, I just want to mention we spoke with Stiefels Ronkoszewski yesterday, and they also have had a nice string of wealth management gains, which is in stark contrast to what we heard from Morgan Stanley a couple of weeks back. What, what explains that divergence? <laughs> Well, it's just, you know, I think the recruiting success on the platforms is that we've had just steady across our independent employee and our uh, RIA platforms, just strong recruiting. We've had it kind of forever. It's been our growth story, growing to 3 to 4% in advisors, growing organically, recruiting them one by one. And most importantly in our model is, you know, less than 1% regretted attrition since I've been here and well before me. So. Uh, having a model where advisors are free to leave, we tell them they own their clients, they can go if they want to, we'll help them. But they choose to stay because they feel we have a high support environment that we put clients first, we treat them as clients. And our investment in technology where we really believe that on the wealth platform for advisors, we have the leading technologies, just not by industry awards, but as advisors come and you know kick the tires here and check it out, they tell us that from the other firms. What, what can you tell us about capital markets? Because we sit over here and go, okay, we know it's been a pretty tough period there lately. Uh, maybe things start to pick up on the debt side. I don't, you know, there's probably a lot of different levers you can try to pull in a, in a, in a, again in a rate environment that maybe you've been through, but maybe a lot of your uh, more junior team members ha never have. Yeah, if you've been around long enough, you've, you've gone through these cycles, just like uh, whether 09 or earlier, you go through periods in the market. And, and this is typical when economics start to change is that you have buyers that say, okay, with the debt costs and cost of capital as debt costs rise, companies aren't worth as much. And sellers usually are much slower to react. So you see that in the markets. And even for us, as we look at opportunities, when debt, you know, we could lock in debt at, you know, low, low single digits, and it's up significantly if we wanted to finance something, it changes the return on the investment as you look long term. So until prices adjust a little bit, if this is the you know, reality in the midterm to longer term at these rates, which aren't record rates, but people were used to free capital almost with free debt uh, right. for a while there. So that takes a while to happen. So it has to work through. And once people settle in on both sides, then you'll see activity pick up. The question's when. And that, that's the question we can't answer. Everybody likes to talk about green shoots when we saw a little bit more activity. And our activity was up uh, this last quarter, we reported. Uh, but we don't see anything growing really fast, right? There's some activity, but certainly not the levels that we would expect in a normal environment. 